Okay, we're gonna do a walkthrough as if you were walking into my house so you could see how it feels. Here we are. Here's the thing, I don't hate this at all. It just feels a little youthful for where I'm at now. I decorated this three years ago when I moved in and I never really finished this wall, as you can see. We have a tiny console table, which actually fits pretty well. The trio of scents, none of which are actually used. We have this thing that sheds everywhere. This little... Yep, this thing. This mirror I really like. This is like a last looks mirror. Hello. Oh my god. How about no looks? This mirror reflects whatever's on this wall. So right when you walk in, you can see double this wall. These are little excerpts from some scripts. This is from The Office and Friends. This has been here forever. I like the Beatles, but I'm not like a huge fan. I just didn't want nothing to be on this door. So that's gonna go away. I just want it to feel like an almost 30 year old lives here. As of right now, it's cute, but it kind of comes off like younger me. Let's do something. The first thing that I'm gonna do is realize that I have a package notice on this door. <laughs> Second of all, I'm painting the frame of the door black to create some drama and really make a statement in such a small space. This is gonna add dimension and personality with leftover paint that I already had. A quick design tip is if you ever wanna make the biggest difference with the least amount of work, bring in a new color or coat of paint. It will drastically change everything. I'm removing all the existing decor, which has been here for truly three years and I've now become immune to it but since this is the first room that you see when you walk in I'm gonna treat the wall in a way that's inviting and calming at the same time so to do that I'm mixing together joint compound which is my favorite thing and some leftover gray paint from the upstairs to create a calming textured plaster type wall with one of these scrapey things which I should really know what this is called by now I'm a credible designer <laughs> I don't know what this is called it's come to my attention that I should really measure things first before I buy things online. Especially things were on sale because you can't return those now. Onward we march. This is not as big as I thought it would be. All right. Maybe we made the wrong decision. You would think I would know by now. I have trigger fingers when I'm online shopping. Oh my God. This is tiny. I thought that there would be two of these to make it a long table. This is like a stool. Who is this for? What is this? Why would anyone buy this? Let's put it together so we can see how bad it is in its full glory. I don't know, maybe it'll grow on us. Doubt it. I cannot believe I've been lied to by my own self. Where is everything else? See, they don't want me to win. Oh, here it is. If anything, I'll just use the console table I had before. There's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted this to be a bigger transformation, but you know, if you're transforming in the wrong direction, I would rather not transform. Okay, our intended console table. It's actually quite beautiful, but it's nowhere near the size we need it to be. We can't be doing this in the entryway. So that is the new console table. This is the old one, which is an actual size. So I'm gonna not have this. I gotta finish this wall. We have so much to do. You're gonna get really sick of me saying this, but today we get even more Paris because this just came in. It's like I've never done this before. Ah! Well, it's gonna be on the floor anyways. Look how pretty! You can see it being Parisian already. This is a vinyl floor cloth. Oh my God, it's gonna look so real. This is perfect for if you're renting a place or you don't wanna retile the floor. Instead of getting a runner rug, this is made of vinyl, so it's gonna lay flat and it's gonna look like it's part of your already existing floor. This is the wrong vacuum for this job. This might be the most exciting thing in my entire life. And I'm not sad about that. Are you ready? Are you ready for how sexy this is gonna be? Cause I honestly don't know if I am. Oh my God, this is hot. Whoa, dude, that looks real as hell. Whoa, it makes it look so much bigger. Here's a close up because I don't think I've ever seen anything this beautiful since Natalie Kelly. This is so nice. It even has dimension, even though it's literally just two dimensional. I'm actually speechless, it's crazy. I always usually have something to say, but we're at a standstill. Wow. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh my God, I just threw up, oh my God. Stub my toe, real bad. 
This is a beautiful eight panel fur door that I got. I didn't realize that it was gonna be natural, so I've got to treat it and stain it and seal it, but I'm gonna do that all right here in the walkway. Probably the worst place to do this, but uh, that is gonna go here. Okay, it's been like two months since the last time I've been in this entry foyer. I don't know what the last thing that we did was, but here's the current state of affairs. This door! albeit beautiful, took a very long time in order to get here and get up. We added gold hardware, da doy, and now it is beautiful. What a difference a wooden door can make versus just an ugly white one. I also got this from Anthropology. The first one cracked and broke, as always. You can't trust anyone in this life. So now this looks beautiful. That really fills out the space perfectly. I got this today, right before I lost my credit card, which is probably a good thing. This is a very cute little chai spice candle from Urban Outfitters. The issue is all of this. Right when you walk in, this is a really beautiful mirror, but you're also greeted with the blankness of this wall. So I got two prints from the poster club. I put them in simple black frames that I found on Amazon. I made sure to have negative space on every side of the picture so that it ended up taking up more space on the wall. Here's a quick design tip. Anytime that you walk into a space, your eye should flow in the way that your body should go. So whichever way that your attention is directed to is the way that the body is going to naturally go. You have a small piece and a larger piece. I'm gonna start with a small piece because if you walk in, you wanna see small, big, and then it's almost like the room is getting bigger as you walk in. Otherwise, it would have felt like you're choking and maybe push you outside of the door. So, just know that every choice that you make in an interior does have an effect on your subconscious. Making interior design way too deep. Okay, let's hang these pictures. This is the idea, to put one here. This is what it's like to do everything alone. The average human eye height is 57 inches, and that's where you should put the middle of your art. So if 57 inches is right here, the middle of the art should be right here. Okay, imagine that there. I didn't know that like hanging pictures was such a physical activity. <laughs> All the CrossFit gyms are closed, but I'm still getting a workout. You know what, maybe we can just cheat and just hang it on the top. I really don't want to do it the right way. 2020 has been hard enough. This is so cool. I've been trying to get this room done for how long? The whole year? The whole year has been one long blink. <laughs> how many pictures have you hung in your lifetime, Tony? Less than five. Really? And there's a chance, like, one, maybe. <laughs> one is less than five. Wait a sec. Is this amazing? I'm not kidding. Here, look. Open the door and go inside. Wow. Don't you feel welcome? So welcome. You didn't even look at this. I did. Just, I saw. You looked straight ahead. I have a wide view. I swear. <laughs> when I walked in last night, the first thing I said was, that's a great mirror. And now the mirror, you can see the art. Look at that. It's basically like I bought four pieces of art when it was really just two because of this mirror. I honestly love it. It is filthy with my handprints. It's truly grime, but it looks so good.